Actress Eddie Adams was really good at acting in funny and serious roles. Not many people know she could sing too, and she often sang in her acting gigs. She did a lot of work in movies and TV that people still remember. One of her famous moments was in the apartment. People have their own stories about watching her on screen. Share your memories in the comments below, and there's more interesting stuff about her in this video. Filmography is a record of all the movies an actor has been a part of. Eddie Adams, known for her work in both film and television, has left a mark with her performances. Some of her notable projects include The Apartment, and it's a mad, 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 mad world. In The Apartment, she plays Miss Olsen, the sassy secretary to Jeff Sheldrake. It's a mad, 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 mad world showcases her comedic chops as Monica Crump alongside a star-studded cast. For those new to her work, watching The Apartment is a must. It's a classic film that not only highlights Adam's talent, but also offers a compelling story. Another must-watch is It's a Mad, 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 Mad World for its humor and ensemble cast. Exploring Eddie Adams' filmography is a journey through various genres and characters offering entertainment and insight into her versatility as an actress. Whether you're a fan or a newcomer, her performances are sure to captivate audiences. After Eddie Adams' husband, Ernie Kovacs, died in a car accident, he left behind a big debt to the IRS. Despite feeling the tax system was unfair, he hadn't paid it. She took it upon herself to clear this debt, refusing help from her celebrity friends. She worked in television commercials and other TV projects to raise the money needed. It took several years, but she managed to pay off the entire debt. Shortly after Kovacs' death, Adams was offered a role in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Initially hesitant due to her husband's recent passing and the financial strain he left, Adams eventually accepted to help with his debts. Ironically, the movie's opening scene featured a fatal car crash witnessed by her character. In the film, Adams portrayed Monica Crump. She later revealed that during a scene in a store cellar, she discovered real dynamite was being used, a fact she only learned afterward. Eddie Adams portrayed Monica Crump in It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Originally, the roles of Melville and Monica Crump were meant for Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland. But she had to back out due to issues with the Judy Garland show. Rooney ended up as Ding Dingy Bell, and Adams took the role of Monica. Her husband, Ernie Kovacs, was set to play Melville, but tragically died before filming. Sid Caesar replaced him. She has one son, Josh Mills, with her husband, Marty Mills. In Lover Come Back, she portrayed Rebel Davis, a southern woman entangled with Rock Hudson's character, much like in Pillow Talk with Marie. This text was actress Eddie Adams married comedian Ernie Kovacs in Mexico City, officiated by former New York City Mayor William O'Dwyer in Spanish, causing confusion as neither understood the language. Kovacs tragically died in a car accident two weeks after the release of Lover Come Back, where Adams played Rebel Davis, leaving undisclosed debts. This led to Adams working hard to settle his IRS bills and ensure her financial stability. Adams faced further tragedy, losing her husband and daughter in separate car accidents. These events tested her resilience, but she remained dedicated to her craft despite the hardships. Eddie Adams became famous in 1950 when she won Miss U.S. Television. In the movie It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, she played Monica Crump, a role meant for her late husband, Ernie Kovacs. She studied at Juilliard School of Music and Columbia School of Drama. She was great at many different types of art. She was famous on TV and in movies. She started small but became very important in entertainment. Her work still inspires people today. This message was, in Tales of the City, the character Ruby Miller, played by Eddie Adams, showcased her acting skills. It was her final role in a mini-series or movie. Ruby's character was rich and reflected Adams' talent. Despite her success, tragedy struck Eddie's personal life with the loss of her daughter, Mia Kovacs. Mia, just 15 years old, was a talented baton twirler from Tenafly, New Jersey. Eddie found the strength to continue despite her grief. Even with her loss, Eddie remained dedicated to acting. She poured her emotions into her work, bringing authenticity to her performances. Through her resilience, she made a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Eddie Adams' story is one of strength and inspiration remembered fondly by those who admire her work. This is the tale of a remarkable woman whose journey continues to inspire generations.
Actress Eddie Adams, known for her memorable performances on screen, played a significant role in the lives of Tara Candely and Carolyn Candely when she was their ex-stepmother. After her passing, she was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. It was a sad time for the Candley sisters, influenced by a woman who was more than just a movie star. After Ernie Kovacs died in 1962, Adams faced a big moment when she took custody of Kovacs' daughters, Betty and Kippy. This important decision put her in charge of raising the two young girls. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Adams became a strong support, leaving a lasting impression on the lives of her stepdaughters. Adams' impact wasn't just in the movies, it was seen in the care and guidance she gave to her stepdaughters. Through her warmth and dedication, Adams helped shape the futures of Betty and Kippy, teaching them important lessons that went beyond fame. As the curtains closed on Adams' life, her memory remained a reminder of the lasting power of love and family ties. Her influence, both as an actress and a caring guardian, stayed in the hearts of those who knew her. In Hollywood's history, Adams' story is a moving chapter of resilience, love, and lasting influence. In the movie Up in Smoke, she played Tempest Stoner. She and Strother Martin, who portrayed Arnold Stoner, Tempest's husband, had room to ad-lib during a scene where they talked to their son about finding a job. In It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, she took on the role of Monica Crump. Initially, Cara Williams was considered for this part, likely the one Eddie Adams eventually played. Eddie almost turned down the role because her husband, Ernie Kovacs, had passed away recently in a car accident. However, she decided to take it on to fulfill her pledge of paying off his debts. She made a big name for herself beyond winning a Tony Award in the Broadway show Lil Abner back in 1957. After that, she got famous for promoting a cigar holder ring for Muriel Cigars in the 60s. It was a bold move that showed cigars weren't just for men. She worked with Muriel Cigars for almost 20 years, charming people both on stage and in commercials. Her partnership with Muriel Cigars not only showed how good she was at marketing, but also helped change people's ideas about who could smoke cigars. Her influence went beyond just acting. It reached into popular culture. In the end, her story shows how talented and versatile she was. She left a lasting impact on the entertainment and advertising worlds. This tribute is a nod to her lasting influence. In the movie It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, she portrayed the character Monica Crump. Initially, the role had been earmarked for Carol Channing, as reported by the Los Angeles Times in January. However, she ended up taking on the part. Throughout her life, she remained a registered Republican, staunchly supporting politicians such as Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and George W. Bush. Her political affiliations were often a topic of discussion among fans and critics alike. Despite her success in Hollywood, she was also known for her philanthropic endeavors, quietly supporting various charitable causes behind the scenes. Her legacy as an actress and her political inclinations continue to spark conversations among film enthusiasts and historians alike. 